Hey guys, Dan here. Today is a super exciting day in my office because I get to unbox something from a big brown box. And that means Canon Super Telephoto Lens. Now, as you can see from the front of the box, this is a 400 millimeter F4 DO version two. Now DO stands for diffractive optics. And the first version of this lens was around for about 15 years or so. And it was never really perceived as being a super sharp lens when compared to the 500 f4, the 400 2.8, but some people used it for its much smaller size, and that comes from the diffractive optics technology. Now, Canon have worked for a long time, super hard on this technology, and now we have a version two. Now, the first reports of this lens, the first reviews, lens tests, and stuff like that, have been very favorable. In fact, it's been really hard for me to get hold of this lens. Uh, I've had it on order for months, I've never seen one before. They're never in stock at any stores or anything like that. And this is a, over a year after this lens has been officially on the market. So it's either difficult to make and they're making them in small numbers or it's incredibly popular. Although I still haven't seen anybody else using one of these. So um, I've done one of these unboxings of Canon Super Telephotos before, the 200 to 400. And it was one of my most popular videos on the YouTube channel there. So I knew I had to do one for the 400 as well. Okay, let's dig inside and see what we have. There's nothing much more exciting than unboxing a super telephoto lens like this. It really is. Um, it's like Christmas for me. This is what we have. I might just flip it upside down and see if it'll come out. It's always awkward to do this gracefully uh, whilst still on camera. So here we go. All right, so stuff falling out on the sides. This is a shoulder strap for the case here. Um, it's obviously upside down. Here is the little case that the lens comes in. Let's put all this stuff aside. We've got the instructions and the, uh, the warranty card just taped to the top there get to the good stuff. There really is no better day than the day you get to unbox uh, a super telephoto lens or any lens that comes in a box like this. So um, here we go, the 400D case. And these are lockable cases, so they're kind of handy for, for transporting uh, in the car or something like that, although not particularly practical for air travel or anything like that. But I have used my other ones in the car. So tightly bubble wrapped, as you can imagine. Just take some of the other stuff out here. Um, this is another shoulder strap. So I guess, okay, maybe this one is for the case. Yeah, this one's for the case, just a simple rubber shoulder strap there. Uh, I guess this one then is to go actually on the lens. It's got uh, a lot more padding to it, so. All right, Canon strap there, big thick padding. Start getting some of this stuff out of the way. All right, so here is the lens. Now what, uh, I mean, obviously the size of this is the key thing for this diffractive optics technology. For a 400 mm lens, uh, this is a really small package and surprisingly lightweight. So it's much, much smaller than my 200 or 400, much smaller than a 400 2.8 as well. So um, I'm just gonna pop that down here. Give you guys a quick uh, look around this little box before I put it away. So that's, that's how it comes, just padded uh, inside there. And then somewhere in there, there'll be some keys and you've got this nice little box. So here's the lens. Wow, it's so light. Uh, the same lens cap that we've had on the recent uh, telephoto lenses, the same as my 200 or 400 as well. Now, they've wedged this in there as well. It's, as you can imagine, really, really, really well packaged. So a couple of little things there. Okay. The lens hood, actually the lens hood seems a bit lighter than my other ones as well. I wonder if they've done something to change that. So 
there we go. That is a 400 f4do version 2 and boy it's just it's a beautiful looking lens and we've got the green ring around this to signify the diffractive optics technology which is what makes this physically so much smaller um, so i mean you can put a 1.4 extender on here and get to 560 millimeters you can put a two times on here and have you know a hand holdable 800 millimeter lens so that's really the key for me that's why i wanted it as well as my 200 to 400 because it's about half the weight and about half the size. So let's just pop this down here actually because what I did was I got the 200 to 400 aside here just to compare it, just so I got something else to compare it to a few guys. So you can see whilst this is 400 millimeters at f4 on the long end, this is 400 millimeters at f4. You can see the size difference here. Uh, it's pretty huge and the weight difference is, you know, it's, it's close to, to two times for this one as well. So this will just allow me to take a much smaller backpack. It'll allow me to carry the lens at times when I may or may not need the lens. Whereas with this one, I only take this one with me when I know I'm going to need it because, you know, it dictates how you pack, it dictates how you travel. It's just so big and bulky that you have to have a specific purpose for it. Whereas this one is small enough that I can put this in my bag and it's not such a big deal if I don't end up using it but if I do need it then with extenders I've got everything 400 560 millimeters and 800 millimeters in a really small package so wow this is awesome you guys are going to hear about this on the blog a lot and this is going to be responsible for a lot of photos in the coming years I can tell you that um, oh one more thing before we get rid of this I also got out the case just just for another size comparison because I have this stuff here um, you know here's the the case of the 400 do and the 200 to 400 so again that gives you some indication of kind of the size difference between the two and you know a, a pretty good thinking as to why I might want to have both of these lenses you know they'll both they'll both have their purposes and I'll certainly use the 200 to 400 uh, if weight and size isn't an issue because I just love the versatility of being able to zoom from 200 all the way to 560 when you engage that uh, external, the, sorry, the internal extender that's in this thing as well. But uh, there you have it. Canon 400mm f4 DO version 2. Lovely looking lens. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. We'll have plenty more like this in the future. Bye-bye.